Laura Trott uh, on Saturday became the first British woman in history to win three Olympic gold medals. Joining us from New Zealand now is no doubt her tired and emotional <laughs> and happy sister, Emma. A very good morning to you, Emma. And I suppose congratulations to the whole Trott family because we were talking to your mum last week, I think, and it's all down to her, isn't it? The interest that you both had on her success in cycling. Oh, well, mum's going to claim it, whatever. Mum claims everything of all of our successes, to be honest. Doesn't matter how much hard work we used to put into it. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no. I mean, it is a lot down to mum. If it wasn't for mum and, uh, and mum being overweight, I think you never want a parent overweight, but if it wasn't for mum and, and having that kind of weight problem, we wouldn't have got in it and Laura wouldn't be achieving what she's achieving and, yeah, making a country proud again. So that's how you, she first got into cycling, and you cycled together as children. So did you think then, you know, wow, she's pretty good at this? Or was she just sort of, you know, the same level and she's built it up from there? Uh, I was always pretty gutted that she was beating me, you know, because she was my younger sister and the older one's supposed to, is supposed to be winning the races. And Laura just used to crush me. It didn't matter what it was, track, road, cyclocross. She, it, Laura turned her hand at something, even running, and she was good at it. Um, yeah, we just used to train together and just, you know, go out, ride hard, come home, fall asleep, and that was just the pattern of the day. And Emma, you've um, had been in touch with her, have you, since she won on Saturday? And what she said? Uh, yeah, we've... Yeah, yeah, we spoke briefly about it. Um, she's not, she's not said much. Um, obviously, for Laura, it's only job half done. She's got another, another race with the Omnium, or another six races, shall I say? So the focus is get off the track, do all the protocol, all the dope talk controls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, get yourself back to the village, give yourself a good feed, get yourself into bed, and then just rest up for. I believe she starts today. So she can't celebrate just yet because she's uh, there with the rest of the team as well. What about her plans next of all? Because we hear that uh, they want to start a family, her and Jason. Huh. A question that I'm getting asked quite a lot. Honestly, I have no idea what they want to do afterwards. And, and I think that's a personal life question. And, and we're a really personal family in that regard. And I don't think it's something that, you know, it matters. So, you know, she is who she is in the sporting world. But as a family, I think that should just stay behind closed doors. No, we understand that. And what about when she gets back then? How are you going to uh, help her celebrate when you next see her? Uh, well, well, I'll be in New Zealand when she gets back home, but when she gets married to what, in a month's time, give or take? So I come back then and it'll be, it'll be emotional because I've not seen them for, I've not seen my family for two years. So it's going to be an emotional time just to, I'll probably just burst into tears, but more happy tears than, than sad tears, to be honest. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Emma, and congratulations to the whole Trot family. It is tough to come <laughs> fourth, but you've also got to look on paper. If you weren't even expected to make a final, then a fourth could be deemed as a good, course, a good result. Because yeah. it's a big, wide world out there, and, it, and the Olympics is a pinnacle. So a fourth isn't really a failure, no. but to the sportsman, it is a little bit like, oh, it's so it's close to It's crushing, especially, I'm guessing, if you're running towards the end of your career. Yeah.